Yo, what's good, everybody? Now I'm back. Here are some more MLB Diamond Dynasty gameplay. And today, guys, I'm bringing you a double debut. We are doing the 95 Jason Hayward debut and the 97 overall Zach Granke debut. So we picked up Jason Hayward. Um, I wanted to try him out. Um, I've been watching Healy 6 a lot. And uh, he, he absolutely destroys with this card. Um, his fielding is really good, too. Um, I wish he had a little bit more. Um, but I wish he had better hitting stats. But I'm happy that he does really well against righties. Since mainly you will face righties in this game. Um, I wish he just had a little bit more stat, better stats with his uh, um, for his left um, handed, handed hitting um, against lefties. But... Um, he also has Sony Vision, so that's actually, it's not a lot, but it's better than um, most people. Um, so that, that's an upside uh, to this card. But his fielding's amazing, 94 fielding with 95 arm, 90 accuracy, and 91 reaction. He also does have 82 speed, so that does help out with this card. So hopefully this card does do well for us, because Lou Brock was not doing well. He was not producing... A lot of hits and he was getting jammed a lot so hopefully Jason Hayward does better for us oh and hopefully pitching the um is better today as we'll be trying out the 97 side Granky. now a lot of people use this card um he's from the ducks on the pond pack um and they didn't like him a lot of people used him and they thought he was going to be like last year's Zach Granky, but he wasn't but um, I know that Coogs46 used him a couple times, and he did really well with them. So I wanted to give him a try. His stats were really good. 83 control is probably the only downside to it. I wish he had a little bit more control, but hopefully his other stats kick in so he does well for us. His pitches, four seam, slider, sinker, curveball, changeup, really good. We're just going to have to locate this card. Speed differen differentials are really good. Um, we got to use that curveball today. 72 miles per hour. People are not going to be sitting on it. Um, they're probably going to be sick, sit, sitting on the four-seam slider and sinker the most. So hopefully he does well for us. And this is going to be kind of a problem too because if he does do well for us, I don't know where we're going to put Al Leiter and Oral Hershiser. We'll probably substitute Oral Hershiser in for Kerry Wood because I do like Oral Hershiser a lot. Um, but Oswalt, this is the thing with Oswalt. We could prestige him, but he's 11 and 2 for us. He only has a 3.76 ERA. Um, he's been one of our best pitchers, and this was from the first inning program. So I don't know if he will, um, if any of the other pitchers will make a rotation. Otherwise, we're going to have to take someone out, possibly Granky too. So maybe this is just a, a one and done uh, gameplay for him, but. We're going to try him out today, so we, we need to bounce back. We lost last game 6-4. to four. The kid was really good, too. Um, just had a better team than me. And we had Paxton on the mound. And if you did not check out that Paxton debut, go check it out. He, he did, And Paxton's really good. If you haven't got him yet, you should go try to get him. Um, you got it's, the same, it's probably going to be the same thing with Granky. You just got to learn how to control him. Um, he only has 82 control, so that's kind of a problem, but we, we, we didn't do the best with him. I wish we could have done better. All right, Zach Granke will be on the mound. The lineup will be Ellsbury, Crusher, Gregorius, McCutcheon, Hayward, Correa, Bellinger, and Tatis. And we are the home team again, and we'll be facing the Newark Sluggers. This, he's got, he's got Hal Newhauser on the mound, so that's bad news for... Jason Hayward, but we we got people that can hit. We got Tatis, we got Correa, McCutcheon, our creative player. But this guy, he has a good squad. He has Prestige Bellinger, Prestige Chipper. MLB he also has that Alec Thomas. Major League Baseball is, on is it Thomas? The I think it is Thomas, but he, he, he's decent. So we, we got to uh, play well today. Mattingly will bat next. He will lead this one off today for Newark. No. No friendly quit. 
the first baseman. All right. First pitch coming. Here it is. Let's see what Zach Ranky's all about. Ooh, a dot to start off the game. I like it. Also, this guy has the 98 Dom Mattingly. Um, I haven't seen a lot of people use him. I think this is actually the first time I've seen someone use him. Uh, so, he's batting well with them, 300. That's, uh, that's pretty good, but... There's a bunch of better first basemen out there. I suggest, like, I think I might go after Tomi. Or Tomei. I don't know, however you want to pronounce it, but I'll pronounce it Tomi. Um, just because I don't have Eric Thames yet, and I could probably put, um, Bellinger in the outfield if, um, Hayward doesn't do well. That's a good pitch by Granky. That good pitch by Cranky B. Is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. And we got Tatis at the play. On to first is two up, two down. Cranky is dealing here. We gotta keep so hitting our spots. Let's give him a curveball. In in oh, that's a nice. That's dirty. That's what you call that is literally dirty. We cannot give one. good anything good to this kid. That's another good pitch. That. Another good pitch. Oh, and we got three people watching. I appreciate it. Oh, geez. Well, I'm, I'm not. Uh, this is a part of my long day, you know. Today I've had a pretty long day. You know what the worst part about it was? I came back home, and I was I was looking for an ice cold Coke. Cool, cool. And there's none in the fridge, so now I had to put refill the fridge, and uh, I can't have my ice uh, Coca-Cola anymore. The wait, unfortunately. All right, he's got. El I mean, he's got new house on the mound. We got Ellsbury up to bat. Let's see what we can do. Let's, we got to be more patient in this game. We also got to have better PCI placement. I was not uh, proud of my PCI placement uh, yesterday. Wait, take. But we, Ellsbury was kind of robbed yesterday. He was hitting the ball really well. Just he did not. Um, he, he 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 just didn't find the gaps. But he was unlucky right there too. Three off-speed pitches. That was not a pitch to hit. Just, you're going to pop that up in this game, unless if you're on it. No, dude, what's up with the check swing, bro? I think they lessened the check swing. They did something with the check swing. He hasn't thrown a fastball yet, so I don't know when he's going to throw it. One and two now. Is Dude, that what's up with our PC? Off. We were doing fine in custom practice, actually. Nope. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. And Skull Crusher gets a hit in the gap. We got to stay at one, though. Skull Crusher gets a hit. Way to stay on the off speed. All right, now we got DD up. Right now, my well, I don't know why he threw over. Literally, uh, my creative player has 46 speed. He's not going to steal. Oh, and DD gets a base hit. Perfect, perfect. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. So now to the plate. All right, that was a dot. Andrew McCutcheon's up to bat now. Oh, geez, well, he's quick pitching. I got it. I got a couple time. Jeez. Andrew McCutcheon has actually been on fire lately. In his last three games, he's had six home runs. He's just been unstoppable. And he, oh, he hit him. And our cre uh, uh, and our debut player, actually. Sorry, Jason Hayward. Is up to bat. Looking to do damage. 
fastball by him here, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose. Well, I need Jason Hayward to do something here. And he misses there. 1 and 2. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. The double play. Hey, there you go. Take him situation. on, Jason. But I know he's going for the K. You get a one two count on a guy, he's going to throw his. And that was a bad side. pitch to swing at. Very bad pitch to swing at. They get the force at but. The plate. To first is too late, so very bad. Play, I didn't read it well. Scores. All right. We got Carlos Correa up. Carlos Correa. Certainly a big moment in this game. Bases loaded, tie score. I need Correa to come through here. And the 1 0. We would have scored a run. Two and one now. I am not swinging at that. Right there. Two -oh change up for a strike. Good call by the catcher. And Carlos Correa lines out. And the inning is over. <sighs> See, we should be up one nothing, but into the box. that's my bad. But that's right. In the top of the we got Cranky on the mound right now. He's doing very well for us. So we need to keep it up. Really All right, one pitch, one out. Rate. I'll take it. McCutcheon is there. One pitch, one out. So striding in, Reggie Jackson, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Oh, geez. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. That's gone. Ellsbury going back. All right. Just like the ex-girlfriend who ain't coming back. That was right over the middle, too. I, I wanted that to go to that outside. That's right. You're probably going to get a couple missed pitches a couple, in, a, in your games, but the problem is, is that with my offense, like, we should already, we should be tied. We should be tied. That's a good pitch. That is a good pitch. Just better take. That's the dude. Zach Granke's curveball. I'm telling you. All right. Yeah, Alec Thomas. So I wanted this card actually. I might still go after him. Um, I still need do need that bat. That I'm looking for, but we're gonna try out Jason Hayward still. I believe in Jason Hayward. I just gotta get used to this one. That's a good sinker. Very good sinker. Right, we're gonna go on the outside. Let's see if we can get him swinging. Nope. Alright, we're gonna go back to that slow curveball, guys. And ring him up. I'm telling you that curveball is key to Zach Granke's success. All right, we got Cody Bellinger up. We got to get something going. We had good PCI placement. We were just early. All right, we got Fernando Tatis Jr. up to bat. Let's see what he can do. We popped up. No. Mattingly is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Next hit will be the pitcher, Zach Grinky. Dude, we're we're missing our pitches. I don't know why. The pitch. The one zero. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind mm. first. And that'll slice. Zach, I want to see. It. I want to. Uh, Zach Greinke should be able to hit. And it's one and two. I want to see his hitting stats actually. Um, okay, they're decent, but. Bases are empty here with two men out. We gotta get it. We gotta hit. And it's two balls and two strikes now. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes. The hardest thing to do is to three. Looking at a fastball to end right. the end. That's right. We'll get back on the mound. We got to make adjustments here, though. How Newhouser will stand in to open things up the here in the third. How fouled off. Come on, Granky. 
and they go right there you go Granky as he swings and misses strike two real ugly the curveball swing there as a pitcher you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance the 0 2 once more Granky gets another strikeout he is dealing the first pitch coming here it is that's a that's a dot that's a dot Big hey, nice pitch away. All right, he's probably three. sitting on curveball. So we're going change up. Hit down the line at first. There you go, Cody. And he'll step on first himself for the out. All right, we got two outs. Digging in for his second at bat, Chipper Jones. He got on top of one and was a ground. Uh, so far, Granky has a good pitch count. Yeah, Maddie, and it looked like we get we got to keep it that way. Oh, oh geez. Uh, okay, well. That works out too. 33, 33 pitches through three innings. I'll take that all day. Um, we just got to keep attacking the zone. Then we got our top of the order, so we need to start hitting. Hit on the ground out to short. And an off balance throw is in time. I got to lay off those uh, sweeping curves. Now batting number two, he'll hit from the right side of the batter's box against the left-handed pitcher, and he misses inside with that one. Ball one. He sees they're just dropping out of the zone. Lays off again, and it's two and zero. Oh. One out, nobody on. Three hey, come on! You gotta take here. We got Gregorius out in the deck. We gotta get something right now. Started. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's gotta beat me. Three and one the count now. And he loses hey, there you go. on a breaking ball. Alright. So a runner at first with one. We got DD up. He hit a perfect, perfect single. To right field last time. Alright, fastball fastball high. I don't wanna one and one. Look like he was gonna wait him out. See if he was swing at that. See, good time and good PCI well, placement. Is, this, this it's just a fly out. I don't understand. And he better be it's good PCI box. placement. I know it's on a changeup, but that's that's got to be a hit. A ball and no strikes. Two balls and no strikes. All right. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2 -oh, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Hey, there you go. We got Jason Hayward up next. So. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't Ooh. even have to look down. At okay, he dotted it. Coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your There you lineup. go. And that misses. Ball Let him throw. Four, Let him. So Those are wasted now, pitches that he's throwing right now. From the stretch. And how? That was our pitch. We miss it. We're we like my PCI was right there. I swear. But right now Jason Hayward is not doing it for us. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. And he falls behind 0-2. All right, we got to be careful on that curve. Because if we leave it in the zone, that's gone. There you go. Zach Granke. Another strikeout. Come on, Ellsbury. There we go. We just left that over a little, a little bit out in the zone. But so bases are empty here with two guns. That's all right. And here is Mr. October, Reggie Jackson. First pitch, curveball, swung on and missed. Good pitch. Fouled away. Here we go. Both teams with okay, let's go with the sinker. Thus far. Hit to third. There we go. 40 pitches through four innings. I will take that. Dude, Granky, he's impressing me right now. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Okay, we got Carlos Correa up to bat. Carlos Correa. Let's see what he can do. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes. Hopefully that drops. 
No. Stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. Sandberg with a nice play. We're getting jammed. So the base is empty here with one away. We got to do a better job. In the former National League Rookie of the Year, Cody Bellinger. Oh my. I don't understand. I'm doing good in custom practice, but like it is not the same. And rank seasons gameplay. Drilled to first. Good PCI placement. And we get a ground ball. I don't understand. I really don't. Fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Another good PCI placement. Just another ground ball. Our PCI is right on it. We're just not getting the results that we wanted. That inning. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off. Balance all game. All right, let's go the curveball. Is one of the few true Below the zone. Star hitters in the game. You're no doubt aware of it, but it doesn't okay. matter who he's facing. He's a major league threat. To all right, let's go back with the slider. I need this to be outside. The box. Yeah, one of the That's where I want it. And, and truly just he hit gods, it. But I don't think people realize the amount of time and effort this guy has put into honing his craft. Oh, jeez. Become one of the great hitters in our sport. Granky, bro. He this one off. He's got to locate that sinker better. There you go. Doesn't matter. We get the out there. There we go, Cray. Alright, who has who does he have up? Mike Piazza. Mike Piazza comes into this at bat over one in the ball game. There you go. on that swing. No balls in the strike. All bets are off for the offense right now. This guy's got a low pitch count. He's a there you go. Zone. That's a that's a that's a good pitch. Aggressive. This guy's not going. Well, let's get 50 pitches. Let's, let's get him out on the 50th pitch. Let's go. That's a dot. That is literally a dot. Bottom of the inning now. All right. Um, should we take out uh Granky here? I don't think we should. First delivery to him on the way. I think we need to keep him in. Down the right side and out of play. Owen one. That's over, but low. I think eventually we're gonna have to take him out. Um, probably put him in. Um. And it's fouled away. Probably put in uh relief because we gotta get some going with the uh bats. So one gun in the now, inning now for Jacoby Ellsbury. Jacoby. And this one's nowhere Ellsbury. close as it bounces to the plate for ball one. 2 0 now. Thank you, Mom. Hey, after those two breaking balls, we gotta be missed, aggressive. You have to be sitting on a fastball right here. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder giving chase. We just he missed it with the PCI, there, but the good, the we had good timing. Out. Batting forward now, number two. Batting from the right side with the southpaw on the mound. No. Ground ball to third. We won't get there in time. And the off balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit. We cannot be missing those. So here now is the pitcher. How new? This is annoying. Opportunity to bat for himself with his guys up a run here in the sixth. No way. He just hit a home run with Hal Newhauser. He hit a home run with Hal Newhauser. If you look at the numbers, this guy does not give up many long balls. To take him deep in this spot certainly is huge. When the Hal Newhauser. That doesn't make any sense. He'll take a look at a sinker here. Too low. That's all right, one. cranky. You just got to keep pitching. Fouled off. Like I don't understand. Lifted the that is literally so center. lucky. 
After it is Ellsbury. Oh, oh what are you doing? Ellsbury? He to it and makes the catch for the first out. At the plate, the Chipper Jones. Okay. One run in and one gone Chipper. so far in this inning. Jones. Pitch on the way. Fouled away. Oh, this kid's getting used to Granky. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball All right. one. Let's go with the hey, sinker. Nasty on the mound, and to check swing and not chase that one, what? Puts himself right back good pitch. Has a lot of movement on it. The weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. I, I still don't understand how he hit a home run. I know it was a no doubt or two. With Hal Newhouser. Even a two and two. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for there we a go. second just because Fastball. he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back. Um, exactly the same one. Bubble the zone. The fastball by him for the punch out. Chipper Jones goes down. Good pitch. Out number two in the top half. Cody Bellinger is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing and one. And it's quickly Owens. All right. Let's go with the curveball. Looking to send him packing again. Let's see if we can get him here. There you go. Another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here in this. Zach Greinke's getting a lot of strikeouts right now, but it doesn't matter. We gotta give him run support. Like the reason, this is why we're losing. The Didi, Didi with the no doubter. Let's go. This is what we need. Let's go. We gotta attack fastball early when he gives it to us. Good PCI placement. Good timing. Thank you, MLB. He will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Okay. It was a walk in his last trip. Swing and this is nope. Also we missed it. Well, out to deep center. We missed it. Thomas is on the warning track. Hit it well, but we missed it. For a loud out number one. Ready now, well, Jason right. Hayward. All right, our debut player, Jason Hayward. Let's see what he can do here. And Jason Hayward gets a base hit. I'll take it. We're not going. He cut it off. But finally, Jason Hayward gets a base hit. I'll take that. That was a nice hit. We got some speed on first. So, we got to uh, drive him in. We got to drive him in. Alright. And the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Now the 2-1 pick. Ah. Hayward Drops our PCI too much. That was a dot. Nobody's hitting that. And Cody Bellinger gets a base hit. Alright. We need to capitalize on this advantage. On, or I mean on this. um, On the momentum. He's probably going to take out Hal now. And we should actually warm up. Um, who do we got? What arms do we got? We got Franco. And Eckersley. So that's where, who we'll be warming up. He doesn't take out ha Newhouser. I need Ted. Or wait, he might. I'm not sure. Nope. All right. We got, we got um, Ted Sista. If Tatis does get on base, we got to take out Granky. That was a good pitch. He he really knows how to locate that uh sweeping curve. All right. We are gonna bring in um Glaber Torres. I need him to do something big. That's a good pitch. Come on. One of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. Uh, come on, that's a ball. Contact down 0 and 2 now. Don't go. It should it should be 3 0 right. Uh, I mean, 2 1 right now. Nope. Wow. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll no, see well, that was... looking and that'll do it. The inning is over.
Dennis Eckersley is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. I haven't seen anybody pitch like this to me. Ever. I was he, he's not throwing the fastball at all. I was expecting a fastball in that count. Like a hundred percent. Now it'll be the four hole hitter, Matt Williams. He'll start the Alright, let's see if Eckersley can give us an inning of work. And then uh we, we got we gotta come back. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. That's a good pitch. But also, so Zach Granke did a really good job. Really impressed with his uh, outing. Hey, there you go. And there you go. And sends it to deep right. And just like the X we didn't miss our spot. He wasn't hitting. He wasn't really hitting that uh, pitch. Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. There you go, Hayward. Back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Ready for another shot now, Alec Thomas. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. There you go. All right. That was one of the few few times that Eckersley actually allowed a run, but okay, this is a close game again. We need to start hitting. We got we're like we're getting opportunities. Like right now, we got our top of the order up. So we need to hit. You know that old slogan of bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. There's is that El Ellsbury? Well Ellsbury goes yard. Let's go. Like, we need we need to start swinging the bat more. And we need to start hitting our pitches. That was one of our pitches. Ah. High in the air. Newhauser waits on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now Here's Didi Gregorian. It was a solo on, shot for him in his last at bat. Yeah, now this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. Nope. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Wow, that pitch nope. wasn't even close, and he almost chased it. If I'm the pitcher, I'm going to expand the zone even more on the next one. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Throw the fastball again. Come on. Throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Ah, uh, he threw the fastball. We were on it. Well, we were guessing it, but we weren't on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. We didn't even move our PCI. All right. I need McCutcheon to hit. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh come on! Uh, Two out, nobody on. Nope. Swing, but he holds I really need this. Uh, Name it a game out on the mound is to disrupt. I really need my hitters, hitters to hit. In the box. He certainly got nope. this guy on the defensive. Now the two-one pitch. Drilled to the left side. Perfect, perfect. I'll take dirty, that. But he can't make the play. It's a base hit. There you go, McCutcheon. Come on, Hayward. So now to the play, Jason Hayward. He got a base hit last time. Let's see if we can get another one here. Comes set and the 0-1. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. We're up in the count. Come on. play to get back to first as he wisely hadn't gotten too far from the back. No, that's not our pitch. After that one, it's two and two. Time granted here at the plate as he'll step out of the box. Down the left field line. Like that's deep. literally not and our pitch. This will wind up a foul ball. Come on, Hayward. Good at bat. Hey, come on. Let's go. Fastball that time. 
three two two out runner on first lots this is so stressful because like we should be doing better some possible outcomes on this pitch good battle here this will be the seventh pitch coming up got him swinging and that will end the inning set for the start of the inning and next will be the power hitting catcher Mike Piazza this is insane on its way no oh my sent out to deep left field if you don't need to meet you can't like every time we score one run he, he gets one right back rolled slowly down the first baseline Full extension, but he can't make the catch. That's strike one. One for two. You cannot go inside on him with Al. Checks his swing, but Somehow he hits a he hit a home run. Like right now, it'd be three two. Like the MLB gods literally just like helped him out so much with that How Newhouser home run. Oh, we gotta get that. There you go. He's got it, and there are two down now. Coming to the plate now, Chipper Jones. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. That's a good pitch. The zone and the slider is in there for that backdoor slider. That was a nice pitch. And he fouls this one off. There you go. All right, we need to hit like. I don't understand why we're not hitting. That will be Carlos Correa. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And this is taken outside for ball one. And even though he's had some success against this guy in the ball game, he still knows he's a very nope. dangerous opponent. He won't want to fall behind him any further. Two and one. You know what? He's got to come in the strike zone. Is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right No, now. why are you doing? Slider there gets a swing and miss. Like, he cannot throw a pitch in the strike zone or something? Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. That's, it's, we're just bad two now. Two. And here's like, I literally don't deserve carry to play this game. A bit out right center. Jackson moves to his I can't right even place my PCI on the, the ball anymore. Coming to the plate now, Cody Bellinger. We thought we might be seeing the end of the road for the starter, but clearly he's still in there for at least one more hitter. Yeah, I'm not sure, Maddie, but I think this lefty lefty matchup right here may have been enough to convince the manager to stay with him. So we'll see if it works out. That command may be starting to drift a bit. It's 2 0 now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. We got good PCI on that. Thomas is this. there, two gone. That wasn't our pitch. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. And a good pitch on the inside. He's hitting his spots. I don't understand how he is. He's 111 pitches. We're moving on later into this game. And he's right at about league average for first pitch strikes. Grounded foul. Getting late, 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. Drilled on the ground to short. That was Got horrible it. PCI placement. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. All right, we're going to put John Franco in. Just so we don't allow another run, hopefully. And to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. There you go, nice pitch. Ninth inning with a swinging strike here, nothing in one. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. Behind 0-2 now. And it's fouled away. Here's another 0-2. That was a nice spot. Good pitch around that's the another knees, good spot quite catch the bottom of the don't spot. understand how that's not called strike but that was a good pitch that's why I like John Franco that uh, screwball that he has is really good 
good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone, and it's a foul ball. Let's go away with the sinker. Foul good pitch. Off. One out, nobody on. That's a good spot. Good spot. I'm not mad with that. Just wish that he just needs to get it up a little bit more. This is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Fouled away. He's fighting. We got to make a good pitch. Two, two, one more time. Rip down the line, and he tries for the backhand reach at third, but it gets by the glove down the line. All right, he's got Reggie up. Hopefully, the lefty lefty throws him off with Reggie. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. There you go. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. Great pitch there. I don't understand how. Oh gee. All right. Just get in. Right center in there. A base hit. Get it in. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. All right, this is lefty lefty. We got to get this out. We got to get this out. Please. That was Runners on first and third, two away. That was fair. And he fouls this one off. We got to get this out. Go, go on. All right, that was crucial. Franco does his job. He allows a couple hits, but I'll take it. He does his job. All right, we're bringing in Ricky Henderson here. We gotta make a comeback. We have to take it until we get a strike. Right. A strike to even the count. One and one. One of the on, best Ricky. ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Two balls and a strike now. There you go. There you go. Ball, and, hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Man, I certainly hope he bears down. Ah, right hey, come on. If he lets this guy walk, I gotta believe the manager's going to the pen. He has pitched his heart out, though. And he takes strike three called on the I don't understand. He's at 119 pitches. He cannot be throwing strikes at Like, I don't understand. In the midst of a one for four day. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off speed hitter. You could tell by that last that bad. He wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the break. That our pitch. And didn't miss it. That was a good hit. Let's go. Let's go, Ellsbury. He's going to sneak on through into right. It's a one out single. All right. He's probably bringing a new uh, pitcher. We got Skull Crusher up. We need to get him on and then hit a home run. Like, that's what we need to do because after Skull Crusher, we got um, DD up, and DD's the perfect guy to do it. I don't know why he's pausing. Because like he's not even making a move half of the time. Now that a roll this Chapman two. comes on here looking to get right. the final two outs and earn the save. He brings in the live series a roll Chapman, so at the plate now, number two. Get hard down the line. Uh, they're hugging the line. Dives, but he can't make the catch. It's a foul ball. And oh, there we go. Yes. Okay. This is our chance. One DD. Take one DD. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. 
It's 2 0. Gotta get up there. <laughs> Come on! Let's go! Alright. There we go. Alright, we got Andrew McCutcheon up. We need to get a uh, hit. We need to. Hey, there we go. Hey, we're taking until we get a strike. Come on. Alright. This one's down to third. No! To Sandberg at second. On to first, and it's a double play. A key pitch there with the bases loaded. It winds up stranding the potential tying run at second. And this ball game is over. Four to two, the final score today. Newark took the lead in the second inning. And I don't understand. Literally, like, I was fine hitting before. We have bases loaded. That was just, like, the unluckiest game ever. Like, we would only need one run to tie. For some reason, they Hal Newhauser hits a no-doubt home run. But, you know what? Besides that, I was really happy with Granke's performance. Um, pitched six innings. Had nine strikeouts. Um, only allowed like two runs. I'm pretty sure they gave him the loss for some reason. The loss should have honestly went to Dennis Eckersley. Um, but I was pretty happy. I was really happy with his performance, but not Jason Hayward. He went one for four. Uh, just didn't really put the ball in play for us. But we're gonna keep using him. Um, hopefully we can get something going with him. But unfortunately, he did not face a right-handed hitter. So. Um, Let's see if we can do something with him next game, but uh, we didn't play well at all, um, hitting wise. Let's like I think we're in a little slump right now. Just I wish we can do better, but dude, that was horrible. Like I don't understand why we're not executing, like. We we we're hit, we have good PCI placement a lot of the times, but the ball goes nowhere. Like I don't know if I need to change my lineup or do something to it, but right now we're not executing while we're when we're hitting. But we that kid was not for, he he threw all off speed for some reason. He did not. He like he used. How Newhauser in the weirdest way. Like, nobody uses him like that. Everybody throws the fastball. So, we, we were probably just thrown off by, based on, like, how the person u was using him. But, I need to do a better job. We got... I don't know why I just clicked on Raleigh Fingers, but... Our bullpen's fine. We just need to start hitting. And then, I'm happy with my pitching, actually. My pitch... We're, we've allowed... A low amount of runs it's just that our hitting we should be doing a lot better so i need to work on it but uh hopefully you guys like the um video um i'll see if I, i'm gonna try to switch up a couple things with my lineup uh next next stream whenever that's gonna be we'll probably start um either Oozwalt or Kluber. It'll probably be Kluber, though. We haven't started Kluber in a while, so it'll probably be Kluber. Um, but we just got to keep playing. We got to be better. But uh hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys later.